The F-22 Raptor is currently the most lethal stealth fighter jet ever rebuilt, consistently outclassing aircraft that belong to the same class as it does, no matter what air force they originate from. There have been several advances over the recent decade though, with new anti-aircraft systems appearing, along with new tracking technologies that work even against stealth aircraft. Add to this the appearance of stealth aircraft in countries like Russia or China, and it's clear that the F-22 will eventually need a replacement and work on one already needs to start. The Air Force has started doing just that, by looking at things that will be required from the next generation air superiority fighter. This is especially important now that the F-15C and F-15D Eagle fighters are nearing their retirement. The name of the F-22's replacement is not yet known, but the program which covers its development will be called Penetrating counter air What we can clearly expect from this future superiority fighter is high stealth capabilities, the ability to carry its weapons inside an internal bay so that the radar detection is minimized, plus it will likely be a supersonic aircraft. The next stealth air superiority fighter is also going to be designed so that it can defeat the enemy sensors of the future, in the same way that the current F-22 and F-35 jets are capable of doing with the sensors employed today. One of the major differences between the F-22 and its replacement will be the fact that the future generation aircraft will have no tails. Every single fighter jet that the United States has built so far featured either one or two vertical stabilizers, which kept the aircraft stable and gave it your control. The removal of the vertical stabilizers is expected to happen because it will give the PCA enhanced stealth and a smaller radar signature. The result of such a move will make the PCA look more like a B-2 spirit bomber than a standard fighter jet while keeping the proportions of course. Another area where there will be considerable changes will be in the way the fighter will be used. The PCA will be capable of acting as an escort over long missions to be used next to the bigger stealth bombers like the B-2 or the upcoming B-21 Raider. It will be capable of going deep behind the lines of the enemy, hitting where it counts most. PCA will also be designed so that it can work next to the F-35 Lightning II, each aircraft using its strengths to support the other airplane's weaknesses. The F-16 will also be kept in service for a long time, so we can count on the PCA being capable of working with older aircraft as well. In order to give the PCA fighter jet its new capabilities, the program will create a new engine for it, which will give it a huge range, with maximum fuel efficiency. The current requirements for the PCA program is in the area of $300 million, necessary for the next couple of years so that it can continue the research and analysis required, while also working on new technologies that will be used on the S superiority fighter that will replace the F-22. I think it's okay to say that when it will be released, this will be the world's most powerful aircraft, not to mention the deadliest. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share it with your friends.